All good to get back into the swing of things in the new year on a, a wet and windy night at uh, the Matt Johnson Prestige Stadium. Yeah, horrendous conditions, Darren. Uh, we had a good session though. Uh, we've just gone up to the Industry 13 now. All the boys in, in preparation for the, for the working game at the weekend. Uh, it's going to be tough, especially with the conditions as they are. The pitch is very, very heavy, so it's going to be difficult for both teams if it carries on like this. You know, there's a few games on here this week as well with the academy. Ladies are training, we're training, so it's going to cut up a little bit, but it is very, very heavy. The heaviest I've known it for quite a long time. What are the plans for the weekend? Are we going to give as many people as possible a, a bit of game time, or are we uh, are going to spread it across the three friendlies that we have? Uh, we're going to give, at the moment, with, with COVID, we, we've got some down with COVID, uh, so certain players won't play. We've got some amateurs in here that will get a run. Uh, we'll mix the side out a little bit. We've got some slight knocks that we won't play. At the moment, tonight, I think we had 19 fit players to to roll uh, with COVID, and some are coming back from COVID on the on the seven day return to play. So they just missed out by a day or so, and I think that's going to be the same right throughout rugby league. Really, I think it's going to be very difficult early on, um, especially when the when the better weather comes, and it might clear up a bit. But I think every club, and I spoke to some coaches that are struggling within their camp with COVID, and you just got to get on with it, and, and and you'll have to play people out of position and. A mix and match and it's going to be the story of the year I think it's going to be a very difficult year again but as long as we get playing uh, for the fans and the sponsors I think I think it'll be fine. Three friendlies coming up and then uh, we get into things against Sheffield the last weekend of January it'll be good to get going in the championship again very different to last year in League One and many congratulations on being the League Express League One coach of the season for last year. Yeah, I was surprised. Paddy McAteer actually sent a message to me, congratulations. And then his phone started pinging off, and I didn't really uh, know what was going on. And then I think T, I think he screenshotted it, and then uh, and then and then they knew and got you know present a thirty five percent of the votes. I think I got, but it's credit not just to me, it's to to my coaches, James Stevie Ray is magnificent as an assistant, uh, Paddy Mayer, all all the backroom staff are here, and it's a award for all them rather than me. I'm just a front man for a lot of hard working people at the club, including all the board and, and directors were certainly in it together. But uh, you know, it's just reward. We've got club of the year as well. And, and then we've picked up a couple of awards and, and you know, T Ritson got player of the year for the division as well. And he had a fantastic season, 20 or two tries, I think, and broke, block, broken the club record for seven tries in a game, which was phenomenal in the last game of the season. So it's nice to, nice to get recognized, especially by um, you know, the, the poll was, was for fans and people that have actually voted, so I'd like to thank them who, who voted for me. Paul, thanks for your time. Thank you.